is a straightforward rescue mission. Get in, save some Imperial units under fire, take command of the survivors and get out. I don't even dare to ask why an Inquisitor is handling this. I mark the distress beacons and the extraction zone on your map. And with that, hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warm of 40k Inquisitor Martyr in another nice round and it is good for a change that we now face some chaos forces um, thinking about what or which kind of enemy we faced in the last episode which were some Drukhari forces a nice little perch we did anyhow now we are the survivors are now under your command but you have more to say will do and that will be no problem at all um, credits picked up. We technically just have to go a straight line to the right, which should be enough. And on the way, I kill every enemy, which is around a thousand credits. So, what is what has increased? I think is the um, amount of credits you receive um, by killing enemy. I don't know whether it is just the rank level. It is possible, of course, as well. Or rather that is really um, something the developers Loading. have increased, so to say. So that is one thing. Um, if you have not seen the last episode, I've equipped a stun mine here, which can deal damage as well, which is on one hand and good. But um, what I don't like so much about it that it compared to the um, AOE grenade, the normal HE grenade, you cannot use it as Unit under distress relieved. Find the rest of the survivors. In my opinion you can't use that as offensive as you can with the HE grenade, which is a little sad, but I can live with that. And I'd say I for one second thought well let us just let us just you know um, go to the teleporter and save our guys but in the end I'll go now to the other guys um, on the other side I know I've overseen some credits on the left side um, on the other hand we just now go through it and kill them all come on that one dead as well and okay, I missed that one. All survivors are in your custody. Initiate exfiltration protocols. Will do, will do. I want to have the chest anyhow. That at least has increased a little bit. Got that, and then I'm going to fight my way through these guys. Not that hard of a problem. Um, it is not particularly necessary to fight through all these guys, but I thought, why? not the so let's reload and go the straight way here oh come on you guys why 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 honestly that is not what I wanted to do okay these guys are then so to say kill off come on I'm taking oh why do you pull all the enemies here so there you can see the stun mine um, to my surprise does do a little bit of damage which is very very really surprising to say the least but good 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 like that and then I'll just go through here lead them here and kill off the last enemies here successful captain to teleportorium chamber engage and guys we will see us in the second or in the next mission in a second the enemies of the imperium are infinite and such a vast threat can only be fought with ingenuity kill the masters and you will render a sea of vermin helpless Yes, 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 at least we will try that out, but uh, surprisingly I need to deal a 
deal a lot of damage to these simple enemies on the right and on the left side, which surprises me a lot. Which is quite good. That one just exploded. That one as well. Come on. I... Well, why do I even kill them all? I don't know. So let's see into which direction. Okay, that's the right direction. And then straight to the right, left, and go on. All right, good, good, good. I can accept that, so to say. So I will try to let them be killed by a wonderful stun mine. Don't know whether that is going to work out or not. Probably not, because not as many as I like, so to say. I thought they would um, close on us faster, and there the stun grenade, of course, would have been amazing, but obviously I was just too stupid there. Anyhow, on it goes, and a red enemy. Nice, is that? That's a villain, so we might try to kill him off if we don't crit here, which I just did. Shame on me. That is risky, it um, <laughs> feels a little, a little bit like Blackjack, playing Blackjack, because you never know which is the next card to, um, which then, you know, brings you over 21. But fun fact there, um, so these guys have followed up nice, not too, too bad. Okay, on we go, on we go. There are still some guys following us. I don't care, I'm way faster. That of course is quite nice as well. Let me kill the Havoc at, um, at first because he... Oh well, at this power rating or rank level here, it should not be that much of a problem with him bringing down our suppression resistance and then constantly constantly knock us off. I come on, follow me please. Okay, that I wanted to do differently anyhow. Sometimes, you know, plans just don't work out as expected. That is just part of the game, I would say. Okay, down there. I will Come on, you guys. I did not mention that we would have to fight ourselves through so, so many enemies here in order to come to one simple um, cogitator, which is really, really weird, especially if you imagine how many guys are currently around us and how heavily the um, this cogitator here is actually what am I? This is a hunt. Alright, I am so sorry. Of course, we do not have to go to a cogitator. We have to kill some targets. One is right in front of us, and I need a bloody... Was well, since a long time, to be honest, the first inoculator I needed to take, and there's the second one. But that is, I guess, a lot of damage being dealt here to us with some champions, the Hellbrute, the Sorcerer, and then the big Nogali guys there. But quite a lot of enemies taken down here. I don't even know why I came to the thought that this would be a data hunt. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So first target down, that is good. Some supply, jumping into them. Um, the flamer seems to be a little bigger than usual. Got to get used to that. So I guess the next targets are going to be health fruits as well. Which I absolutely don't have any problem with, don't get me wrong guys. I like them as targets. They are um, one of the most cool looking models of Games Workshop, or Games Workshop models I think. Oh, that is, you know, just my humble thinking they are no it's a dreadnought a very cool uh, model as well technically there are not many models not many games workshop models i don't like some of them are i think pure army or astral Militarium, which i 
don't like so so much but that has nothing to do with the model but more with the Imperial Guard um, by itself. So Dreadnought is one priority target right here. Bring him down. Let's take down the Marauders. Quickly, quickly. Don't like them. And there is a huge flock of um, normal rebel guys, which is not bad because of course we have our um, explodey ammunition, the frag ammunition available as well. Good, good, good. Uh, I am a little bit surprised how many enemies are on this map, but in the end you have to say um, this is a the map type of course for a hunt is not very not playing into our hands because in the end I think hunts tend to have a large amount of enemies going around and that on such tight corners is of course not really um, going into our direction here. These are gone. Assault armor and a turret car. Yes guys we will in the end do some turrets as well before the next DLC there is coming out that I can promise you already. I hope at least. <laughs> I will give my best. I want to complete this um, stage of the war zone and then we will play a terror mission as well. So that the sounds here are really really nice on the um, very small room here. So taking those guys out. Okay, that was a little overkill <laughs> or unnecessary waste of resources you might say, but the good part with the jump there is that it so quickly reloads or cooldowns and you can use it so quickly again. That is a feature I really really enjoy here. Blake Marine, come on, you shall fall. Nice. that stuff with me and then we are shortly before engaging the last enemy which again is a hell brute I don't care to be honest it's going to die as fast as the other enemies but I have to say I'm um, facing it in close or so close to it is not the best now you can watch the body wander aimlessly until it withers and dies so no chest available and what we do now is we take a quick look at the items we have received here. Where were we good? Where were we fun? Where were we fine? The Fs, so to say. Um, come on game, load up, please. Rewards from the un uh, from the unholy autos. That would not be the Inquisition from the holy autos. Okay, and then the next battle 35 is going to come up in the next episode guys so the shield sadly enough we don't use shields currently um, so many sockets on the thunder hammer here um, that is a little fun fact so far nothing out of the usual um, the little fun fact here is that we not very often find um, ranged items with sockets um, it's a little weird I don't hope I talk crap here but anyhow guys that right now leads us to the end of this episode and you know it I really thank you for watching if you guys actually have enjoyed this episode then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye